Well, here I got the tank lit with two PAR lamps. They're about uh, about a foot from the from the water, and they have their bridge lux daylight about 14,000 Kelvin. Got 60 degree optics instead of 40. The Echozotics have fixed 40 degree optics, where these are interchangeable, and I have a set of 90s to go with it as well. And uh, these are 27 watts each. Uh, four would be enough to completely illuminate the tank and be able to grow corals with it just fine, I'm sure. So what I've got here is uh, there's two of these are UV, two of them are royal blue, and then there's five whites that are I think 8,000 Kelvin. There's going through the glass. It's kind of spotlighting it. Come up through the water, get a little bit of the shimmer showing. And turn on the uh, fluorescence. And you can see it's like adding a halide to the fluorescence. So they're a good choice for supplemental lighting. I think they're a great choice for for uh, your main light as well, but you'd have to run. I'm I'm thinking four for a 36 inch long tank. That's you know your average 18 inch depth front to back. No other light. There's just three par lamps on the tank right now. Now there's with. Uh, the two fluorescent power compacts. Okay, I got my 150 watt metal halide bulb warmed up. It's uh, 12,000 K HQINs, and it it does have more of an even spread, particularly with the uh, shimmer involved, uh, being how I was just using two little par lamps on it, so. Uh, given the, the reference with the halide here, I really think that ideally five PAR lamps would work best, three across the front and two across the back, to, to illuminate all, four, all corners of the tank.